Hi guys, Swans Way Radio Reese Bish, and I'm at the train station again, but it's actually good news this time I'm going somewhere. And Swan City have announced the signing of Jake uh, Bidwell. Yes, he's a left back, played for QPR and Brentford formerly, uh, made a decent amount of starts at uh, QPR last season. I think he's got seven goals in over 300 appearances, so he's a very really experienced full back. Um, he'll add experience to the Swans, a left back which we really needed, which will help with depth. Now we've got four full backs, two left backs, two right backs. Um, obviously, north that I'm people like I can go left back as well. But I think it's a really good signing for the Swans. To be fair, um, I haven't seen much of him. Of course, I'm not sure if he was part of the side which beat us four 0 But I think it's a good signing, a free transfer. Can't really complain, and this didn't really get reported until this morning. So we're actually doing doing transfers without again reported until it's near enough done, which is great. Which shows Trevor Birch, Steve Cooper, and playing the hierarchy are actually doing business behind closed doors. So it's good to see us go first transfer. And I did see on Twitter yesterday, our transfer window starts. Today, which was from yesterday, of course, because all the big wages such as Luciana Nassing, and Leary Fergal for Bonnie have gone. So the wages have been cleared up, which means we've got more wages, which we've got a bit more budget. So I think all in all, it's a good uh, signing. in. Um, I don't think... He, will he be a starter? I'm not quite sure. Obviously, John was doing brilliantly last end of the season, played well against Derby for his man match when he came on. Um, so there's some much-needed depth, like I've said. Um, hopefully, it turns out to be a good signing. in um, I think he scored against Cardiff a few seasons back. Uh, when he played for Brentford, um, so all in all, some QPR fans were saying on Twitter, which I asked, um, I, they said he's a much attacking fallback, likes going up the pitch, can whip a good early ball in, but doesn't really take his man on when he gets to the byline. Uh, apparently, he's quite a I don't know the word. He's he's not the best defender in the world. Um, so by by that I mean like. Uh, he can gives away a lot of penalties. Apparently, gives away silly fouls. But uh, I'll make my own judgment when I see him in the Swan shirt. I'm not uh, I'm not sure if he he probably be heading out to Spain where he probably plays against Mansfield and that. But all in all, a really good signing for the Swan. So thanks for watching this video. Leave your thoughts about um, Jake Bidwell being a Swansea City player. First signing of the summer. Brilliant news. Come on, the Swans. Let's get some more signings. So leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Jake Coop. Not Jake Cooper, sorry. Jake Bidwell is now officially a Swansea City player. See you guys next time. Big shout out to Hursty Games. Um, he's a Cooper content creator. Um, he does FIFA content as well, and he's been kind enough to give me his thoughts from a QPR perspective and what the Swans fans can expect from Jake Bidwell. Obviously, the left back we've signed. Uh, and then I'll then I'll go on to my part, my thoughts, and uh, I think they'll do that Swans. But nice to have a. Um, a guy who uh, knows a lot more because I didn't know much about him because uh, only the news broke today. So thanks for Hursty Games coming on my channel. Make sure you uh, subscribe to his uh, YouTube channel. I think he's on 2,000 something subscribers, which is great. Hopefully I'll get there one day. Yeah, so thanks for Hursty Games for coming on my channel. L link in the description to go and subscribe to him. And here's what you got to say about Jake Bidwell. Hey guys, my name is Tom, aka Hursty, QPR fan here. Just been asked to come on and have a quick chat about my thoughts on Jake Bidwell and his move to Swansea from QPR. Uh, firstly, get him on a free, I think is a very, very good move. Uh, I'd probably say he, if we were to sell him, he'd probably be worth about a million, so saved yourself a pretty penny there. Uh, in regards to him as an actual player, a few times defensively, a little bit lacking, I found good physicality, missing that little yard of pace. Good little player though. Uh, has a good cross on him, puts a good ball in, but um, my nickname for him has always been Backwards Bidwell. Passes the ball back a bit too much in my opinion, sometimes a little bit scared to go forwards, but I think with a nice bit of covering, a good centre pack next to him to allow him to go up that pitch a little bit more, someone who can cover him well as well, maybe fill in like a holding midfielder that can fill in that position. I think it's a nice little pickup. I really do think he'll do well. All the best of luck to him, obviously, as a QPR fan. Um, I think he got four goals for us in his time there. Very experienced in the championship, uh, over 100 caps for us. Um, and, you know, I think he played at Brentford. Um, so I think a very, very good uh, pickup. Good couple of years left in him, definitely. Um, but I do think he'll do well down there. So very good pickup, good for the price. A little bit defensively, sometimes a bit uh, missing. But I do hope that he can do well for you guys. And um, uh, all the best, really. Thank you very much for having me on.